Because if it wasn't education learning when my dad first told me, you listen to them, what they say. You know, my teachers were tough, but I listened. If I didn't go out to Idaho and been refined in a better, you know, it was a higher standard of education. It was a better way of life than a reservation. There were upper class, as he would say. It wasn't in a boarding school, it was living with a family who was upper class, going here, going there, teaching you to speak at engagements, teaching you to, you know, just living that, what do you call it, refined life, culture life, as they would call it. You know, I go to speaking engagements, go to dinners, and they were teaching me all these things. And I said, hey, I like this. But then at the end, I lost my identity as being a Native American, you know, and I, I was living on their farm, I was living on their ranch and doing all these things and pretty soon I felt like I became a slave. You know, the other aspects kind of lost and I started drifting away from them. See? I, I, they lost that mentorship, what they really brought to me. Then in the end, it became, I became a workhorse. You know, go do this, go do that, go... But that was the, but they did teach me discipline. They did educate me. They refined me to, you know, do the things I've done today. That part. Again, see, had it good and it's bad, but I learned the good then versus the bad. We can't carry things with us. That's the biggest thing. A lot of, you know, trauma, this and that. We can't carry that no more. We are survivors and you must teach how those to survive and get past that. There's forgiveness. If you want to be a Christian, you want to hear forgiveness, then learn how to do that too then. You have to let it go. And that's what I did. If I was so angry about the system, I could have been radical. And once I was, I told when I was doing inside, they said, geez, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm learning and I'm going to uh, go to court and, and fight this. Geez, why don't you be like the rest of us and accept it? That's where you're at. See? The acceptance of that's where you're at. But really at home. The other thing they want you to tell you real quick is a word that they use. And we do it all the time. Native Americans, we don't say it very much. But I heard it again. And it made me laugh. I chanced it. I chanced it. Let's go, let's go do this. Well, you think we do it? We can do it? Let's chance it. Let's go try it. You know what I mean? I chanced it. So well, every time we're trying to do something, when it's not what we're supposed to be doing, we say we're going to go chance it and see if we can get away with it. <laughs> and then if you look at it, take a chance at education. Take a chance at learning. The avenue is so much different, but that concept, they believe, like, like the Christians say, I can walk on water. Well, we think like that, but we say, we chance it. We're going to try and do that. <laughs> and we, you know, and we missed the mark. But what did Peter do? He yelled out, help me. And so we get in that point. Help me. I fell, I chanced it. And my way wasn't right, so I need your help. 